What is that? That's a gold and black 2018 Lamborghini Huracan. Yeah. Uh, convertible, spider, um, about 600 horsepower. It's one of my favorite cars. But just three years ago, I didn't always drive a Huracan. Um, three, about three and a half years ago, about almost four years, I was basically almost homeless. Didn't have a place to stay, and I was working at a call center for 10 years of my life, smiling and dialing. Yeah, I hated my job. I was paid on Friday, broke by Saturday. Oh, by the way, that's, I don't know if you guys like Range Rovers, that's a Range Rover here. We got the Porsche next to me, all black matte. And we have the Ferrari, ooh, who likes Ferraris? And right across from me, we have the Aventador. I love Aventadors. But those are nice cars, but didn't always have these type of things. I never always lived this lifestyle. I used to live with my girl's mom, sleeping in a garage. I got two kids, a nine-year-old and a, a two-year-old. And um, I was working 60 hours a week. It was tough. And I've always wanted to start my business, but I just didn't have the money and I didn't have the time and I didn't have the right mentor. You know, one of my mentors told me if I kept doing the same thing over and over and expect a different result, that I was going to be insane. So started my own business. I got into starting my own business when I was 25 years old. And for the first three years, it was tough. I didn't make a lot of money. I struggled. And I think the problem with most people, they start things, but they never finish them. You know, um, um, one of my mentors also told me that sometimes there's going to be a couple of things that you're going to regret. And I mean, school never really taught me how to live my lifestyle. School never taught me how to be a good father. My father, he left my life when I was eight years old. And, you know, I, my mom was working two jobs for 20 plus years. And one of my dreams was to help my mom retire. And... Um, can we agree that sometimes <laughs> that, you know, sometimes you have to get a job just to pay the bills. One time I caught myself working at McDonald's and Burger King. I was making $6.25 an hour and I really didn't have a place to stay at. Uh, so um, I just kept trying different businesses. I, mean, I even resort to poker. I was selling weed. <laughs> so, um, Started doing eBay, drop shipping, made some money with that. And um, someone, I guess, spammed my account and that never worked out too well. Got into stock trading, started doing stocks. Started doing Forex. Man, this elevator's taking a while. I'm on the right side of the building. Started doing some stocks. Um, did some pretty well with the market. But how I really blew up, three C's. I stayed committed. I stay consistent and I stay coachable. Stay committed to, to, to my journey. I stay committed to being successful, making lots of money and not giving up on starting a business. I stay consistent. Man, the elevator finally opened up. Man, these things take a while, don't they? And you know one thing I also did? I also dropped the fear. The fear of not giving up. I dropped, I remember I used to live on payday loans and I used to go to the payday advance checks, that check-in store, and I used to borrow $500 every two weeks just to pay my bills. And then one day I said, you know what, screw this. I'm going to use this money, I'm going to start a business. And I used the money that I was going to pay my bills to start a business. And I would always, I remember sometimes I would have to pay my rent. I was late on rent because I used the money for investments. I think a lot of people are just, they're just afraid. Afraid to take risks. But you know what I was afraid of? I was afraid of working 45 years of my life and being broke. I was afraid of not being able to provide for my kids for many years. And this is my place, just moved in. I was just afraid of that. And I didn't want to 
do that to myself, didn't want to do that to my kids, didn't want to do that to my family, didn't want to do that to my mom, because I know sometimes if you don't come from a rich family, a rich family got to come from you. So I wanted to learn how to teach to teach so we could be on the beach. So now here I am today, went from living paycheck to paycheck, overdraft to overflow. So maybe you're just like me, standing on the sideline saying, man, can I do network marketing? Can I, can I go from overdraft to overflow? Can I start a business? But listen, find someone who's coachable. So I find someone who's a great mentor who can teach you how to go from point A to point pay. Hey, I'm that type of guy. I can show you how to do it. Listen, I'm a high school dropout that never went to college. Never went to college. I don't have a GED. Nothing. And if, I, if someone like me could make it out the ghetto who was homeless, you know, was, you know, got, uh, incar got, got put in, incarcerated, you know, if I can do this, what's your excuse? What's your excuse? Listen, I'm here to tell you right now, living paycheck to paycheck isn't, this is 2020. Some of y'all, if your credit score is not intact, if you've still been renting for years and you don't have a house, you don't have nothing to leave your kids, as your, what are you working for? Are we working for our first name or are we working for our last name? Right? Sometimes the three biggest regrets are going to be what? The people you marry, the jobs you work, or the education you learn. Listen, learning don't stop after school. It continues and it starts after school. See, formal education will make you a living, but self-education will make you a fortune. Sometimes reading some of these books, Rich Dad Poor Dad was one of my first books that I read that opened up my mind. Let me open up my back here, back here so you guys can see. One of my first books I read, look at the view. Look at this view. <laughs> it's pretty nice, huh? It's one of the first books I read. It opened up my mind to wanting to know what the rich do and the poor do. And um, geometry, I remember I failed that so many times in school. Didn't do anything with it anyway. But it's 2020, guys. I mean, what are you going to do for this year to change something? Many of you today, listen, I'm going to tell you right now, it's just like most people. But today, I'm the first millionaire in my family. Today, I'm living my best life. Today, I have time to spend with my kids. Today, I can help people just like you. So if you're looking for a mentor, I'm looking to mentor five people. Five people for 2020, right? And how to become financially free. If you want to be mentored by me, that number below, send me a text. And I'll show you how to get to the, to the TOP or what we call it, the bank. So I see you guys at the bank. Peace.